In this tutorial, we look at the new features in Filmora 11.6.6. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. This is the default interface or the welcome window to Filmora. Let's click on create a new project. And this is going to bring us to the Wondershare Filmora interface where you can add your clips, edit your videos, make any changes that you want and then export your video. Now. The new features are more or less there to speed up our process of editing videos uh, and more or less based on this particular timeline right here. Now, let's begin by looking at the new feature and the new feature is the titles feature. And in previous versions, to add a title, you had to go to titles and then select whatever title you want. In this version, and I'll just add some stock footage here, let's say, uh, bring this one here looks good in this version all you need to do to start to add quick text to your video is just click on this button and it's the quick text button click on that and once you do that it gives you the default text as lorem ipsum and then if you click on it you'll be able to see the different options available you can change the font the settings the color uh, the transform the compositing etc you can also uh, do whatever you want. So for example, let's make our change here. Let's say waves crashing uh, on rocks. Let's assume that's what you want to write. Uh, looks good. You can uh, make it bold, control B, or just click on B, italicize it if you want. But let's leave it as it is. You can actually make it a little bit larger Let's go with something like 32, looks good. So if you just wanted to add some quick text to your video, then you can use the quick text feature. Really awesome feature. Now, the next feature that is available is something called the enable timeline snapping. Now, if I drop another clip here, all right, inside here and bring it over, you'll notice that there's a green line that pops up and that is the timeline snapping and this helps you make sure that when it comes here you don't drag your clip on top of the clip before that now or actually even the clip after that let's just add this one here so you'll be able to see uh, these uh, lines appear or pop up and that's the enable timeline and if I uncheck it and then we move our clip the, the green lines that are appearing will not be available. If we enable it again, then once you do that, you'll see the green lines uh, pop up uh, and you cannot make a mistake to either slide this clip on top of this clip accidentally. Really, really awesome. But where everything lies is in the option to customize this particular toolbar. So uh, there are these options available where you can click to customize this particular toolbar, what you want, what you don't want, etc. It's pretty awesome. Uh, for example, you'll see a couple of options here, uh, all these things here. These are the things that are available here. Now, it's up to you to decide what feature do you want and what don't you want, and more or less, what do you use most frequently. So, for example, uh, Let's assume you want to remove what? Let's assume you want to remove maybe the edit. Let's maybe assume you want to remove the edit. You just left click on it and drag it right there and it's removed. Next up, we can look at what this is, the silent de silence detection. You can just drag it and drop it there. It's removed from the timeline, uh, from the custom toolbar right inside here. You can remove the slide edit uh, the text to speech is good, auto synchronization. You can remove that if you want to, uh, more or less what you want, but clearly everything is indicated uh, as, as you choose it. You can just do that. Now that's the option to remove, but you can also add it back in. Let's add that back in. It's added back in, and then you can actually move it to where you want it to be. You can actually set them in the order that you want. And that is how you can customize the toolbar to your own preference and liking and once you're satisfied you can save but i'm going to click on cancel to undo those specific changes 
the final uh, feature is uh, more or less for the quick edit that was introduced or the quick split mode now it does have a shortcut key and when you press on s if I actually hover over this uh, you can press on c and once you press on c now what we have inside here is a quick split mode and more or less the razor so if you just click where you wanted to cut it's going to keep cutting the way you want it to be uh, now you don't have to keep on clicking on this but to go back to the select mode press on v and once you do that you see that your cursor changes from a razor to a normal mouse cursor basically put what we have in the latest version of filmora 11.6.6 uh, is more or less the text feature the quick text we also have the option to enable timeline snapping really awesome features and then the option to customize the editing toolbar right here really awesome and also the shortcut for the quick split mode so uh, that's it for me that's uh, my quick uh, take on this and i love all the features that were put out in this particular update until next time take care and never stop learning Thank you so much for watching.